CGI movies get a lot of flack, sometimes deservedly so, but many people seem to have a memory of a golden era of wonderful practical effects they refer to as before CGI. Well today I'm going to dispel that myth and propose that for most people there is no before CGI. From what I can tell when people say before CGI they really mean before Terminator 2. Let's go back in time to 1989 and the abyss with its breakthrough water effects. Ok, so you need some more convincing, let's go even further back to 1986 and Basil the Great Mouse Detective with its beautiful CGI chase through the inner workings of the Big Ben clock tower. The CGI owl at the start of the film Labyrinth and the CGI spacecraft with the reflection mapping and the flight of the navigator both also from 1986. Going back to 1985 saw the film Young Sherlock Holmes give us the stained glass night, a photo realistic CGI character created by John Lasseter of Pixar. In 1984, one of my favourite movie years saw The Last Starfighter released, which used CGI for all the spaceship shots, replacing traditional models. Going yet further back to 1981, the film Luca featured a 3D shaded CGI human character called Cindy to depict and satirise advertising's constant pressure on women to achieve ridiculous standards of beauty right down to the millimetre. I have lots of defects to fix. I have a list right here. My nose is 0.2 millimeters too narrow, and my cheekbones are 0.4 millimeters too high. How much further can we go back? Well, let's go back five years back in time to 1976 and head over to Future World, which used 3D computer graphics for CGI hands and faces and featured digital compositing to generate characters over a background. Let's hop back in the DeLorean and set the time circuit for 1967 and Charles Shuri and James Schaefer's fully computer generated film Hummingbird. Anyway, I think you get the point. You see for most people's lives there was no before CGI. This golden computer free era didn't exist. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments section below. If you like pressing things on the screen on your mobile or clicking things with your mouse, here's some other videos you might like. Go ahead, press on one, you know, just to see if it works. Until next time, keep it locked.